If you haven't made plans for the long weekend or just want to plan ahead, here are a few ideas from our life colleagues. First up, handbags and bagels. That's right, you heard that correctly. Joining me is journalist Amanda Chai. So Amanda, tell us all about Coach's Bagel Shop. Yeah, so this is partly linked to how there has been this wave of global fashion brands releasing mobile games and Coach is one of them. Coaches Make Bagel Shop is its latest game launched together with a pop-up here in Singapore uh, to showcase the Spring 2022 collection. So they've teamed up with uh, Local Guys Two Men Bagel House to turn a shop house in Duxton Hill into this New York City style bagel shop to recreate the vibe of Coaches' hometown. And at the pop-up, you can shop the collection, which includes ready-to-wear and key bag styles like the soft tabby. The collab also includes merch, which features five bagel personas they've created dressed in the collection, who are basically the players in the mobile game as well. If you buy a bag there, you can customize it with graffiti motifs done by local artist uh, Tiffany Lavage on the weekends or with digital printing, both of which are exclusive to this pop-up. So actually, I think what most people will be interested to know is you can also buy and take away bagels there. They have created a four all new limited edition flavors inspired by NYC, like an apple pie cream cheese bun named Big Apple Red Dot and a smoked salmon rendition, but with trout. So it's an interesting example of how brands are trying to embrace the whole omni-channel experiential retail concept and really bring customers into their universe. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's worth checking out over the Good Friday weekend. But if you want to avoid the crowds, it's also open every day except Monday until May 8th. Thanks so much to journalist Amanda Chai. Well, some musicians in Singapore are getting together later this month for a fundraising event for Ukraine. Music correspondent Adino Abdul Hadi has the details. So, Dino, who's performing at this concert? So the concert is called Artists for Ukraine, like you mentioned, and it will be held at KC Arts Centre on April 24 at 3 p.m. The tickets cost about $100 each and all the proceeds will go directly to the Singapore Red Cross Fund uh, to aid the people who are suffering from you know, the humanitarian crisis in Ukraine. And uh, the funds will be used to provide essentials such as food, water and shelter for the vulnerable you know, elderly people with disabilities, women with children and unaccompanied minors. And yeah, to answer your question, the artists performing, uh, it's, it's a mix of Singaporean and Singapore-based international artists. And they play various uh, types of music genres. Uh, you've got uh, Flame of the Forest. Um, they're this group made up of young musicians who play an eclectic mix that fuses folk and traditional with the contemporary and modern music. There's also composer and violinist Kailin Yong, and he has played with the likes of the Singapore Symphony Orchestra. The international lineup of artists include Ukrainian pianists, who are also mother and daughter, Sinia and Irina Vokmianina. They are no strangers to the classical music scene here, and in past years, they've performed in local venues uh, such as the Esplanade and the Victoria Concert Hall. And rounding up the list of uh, Performers are artists from the jazz scene here, Indonesian-born pianist composer Rachma Lim, uh, Italian singer Daniela Ruggieri, and American guitarist Rick Smith. Thank you so much to music correspondent Adino Abdul Hadi. It's for a good cause, so be sure to check it out. And finally, if you're fishing for a good deal on sushi, we have the perfect person for it. And it can only be our food editor, Tan Xue Yun, who's always on the lookout for good quality value for money options. So Xue, tell us all about this latest discovery of yours. Well, okay, you know I love sushi. Sushi is life. Okay, so I've, um, there's this new restaurant. Uh, it's at the Orchard Rendezvous Hotel and it's called Um Kai Sushi. And I, have, I find the prices to be very sane and the quality to be very good. Your omakase sushi meal starts at $88 plus plus and it moves on to $138 plus plus and $188 plus plus. And it's a Singapore chef at the helm, Eugene Lam. He's worked like, you know, in, in various Japanese restaurants. And can I just say, so impressed by his skill. 
Right, Shreya, but let's say I don't want omakase. What else is on this menu? Well, there is something called the magic bowl, and it's wonderful. So, okay, it, it'll, the bowl will be different depending on what um, ingredients are in season. So when I had it, it was a bowl of rice topped with negi toro, which is um, otoro chopped up together with negi, which is, you know, Japanese leek. And then it's, you know, placed on top of this wonderfully um, aromatic rice, which has just the right amount of vinegar. But you know what makes it magic and what makes it special? Tempura crumb, tenkasu, the crispy, crunchy crumbs all over the bowl. So it's crunchy, it's a like, little bit tart, and there's that richness from, from the tuna. It is fantastic. Magic bowl. Order it for lunch. Great recommendation by our food editor, Tan Xueyun. We have more live picks online, including this. The beautiful Maya Bay has reopened after a three-year closure. And our Thailand correspondent, Tan Tan Mei, returns to the stunning cove made famous by the Leonardo DiCaprio film, The Beach. You'll find her story and video at str.sg forward slash life.